Hey you guys, um, I'm sitting in the car while Charlie's in karate this morning because Olivia's asleep and I was going over my planner for today and I realized I have not talked much about um, my cleaning routine and what I'm doing new or different this year than I did last year. Um, I follow Fly Lady um, and I've been following her off and on for several years. It's a pretty good uh, system she's got worked out and I have no idea how many followers she has, but I'm sure it's probably thousands or, you know, maybe close to a million followers over the, the years that she's been doing it. Um, but it's great system that she's got worked out. It's super easy. It's one of those start where you are. Don't worry about trying to get your house and everything in order before you start. Over, you know, a month or so's time of following her routine... Um, and, you know, you'll have to tweak certain things for your own particular house or family, but you'll actually get on track and um, pretty quickly have have a pretty clean, organized, um, easy to maintain house. There's um, even sections on Fly Lady for Kids that help them keep their rooms organized, and there's a section for homeschoolers. It's really a pretty, um, pretty good little website. I enjoy just going over her, um, she calls it the launch pad, there's mission ideas and um, lots of things that they update pretty pretty early, you know, pretty frequently, daily, most of them. You get emails, if you sign up for the email, all day, throughout the day, you'll get inspiring emails where people have sent their story into them, um, what got them started or what they're enjoying, how they're doing things. She has products you can purchase, rags and sweepers and mops. I haven't purchased any yet, but there's a few things I've kind of been thinking about putting on my list that um, that seem like you know they might help speed the process up or just work out good for our family. So if I ever do purchase any, I'll make a video on those. But um, I just wanted to show a little bit in my planner of what I how I plan it out for the week and. Um, I have a page where I can go and see what's coming up or what I need to be doing to get a little bit more of a detailed idea. So I thought I would show you that this morning and, um, you know, maybe somebody out there is looking for a better routine to keep up with their house and not feel like they're always having to clean and organize to keep on top of it. So here's a look at how I lay it out on my daily planner. Okay, so ignore any mess in my car that you might see. <laughs> These pink things are covering up my YouTube section of my planner because um, I try to plan out what videos I would like to achieve um, and when I would like to post them. Sometimes they happen, sometimes I don't, but I also want it to be a little bit of a surprise as to what's coming up. So down here um, in this section I have, it's my home and fly lady, so I have things at the top that I need to make that day food wise or um, recipes I might want to try out that day depending on how busy we are. Then under that in the same box for my fly lady routine I have what I need to try to remember to accomplish because obviously we all know every day you you know you're gonna wash your dishes and you know if your trash is overflowing you're gonna take the trash out there's a lot of things you're gonna just go ahead and do sweep your floor if you have a lot of kids like we do we sweep and mop and Monday is supposed to be our, our definite mop day but there are days that this morning part of the kitchen had to be remopped because someone most likely Bentley poured some kind of liquid in the trash so when it was being taken out um, that whole half of the kitchen ended up having to be remopped but this is just to keep me on track in case we do have a week where there's not a giant mess and I only have to really mop one day which which really means the bucket and the mop and that kind of mopping not swiffering which happens usually every day but anyway so um, on Sundays I keep it pretty light that's the day typically that um, my husband and one of the boys will take the trash to the local dumpsters we do not have trash pickup where we live so um, he tries to take that once a week at least uh, and usually that's Sunday afternoon um, making sure laundry is done. This pertains more to his laundry um, and anything I might need his help with in the wash um, so that he's ready for uh, the week he can pack his clothes and things for um, his nights in the truck. But then the rest of the week it's just um, maybe what, what's going on in that zone. Like this week it's the bathroom um, 
and so I have things that I want to accomplish in that zone each day and they may happen on that day and they may not like obviously the um, washing the bath rugs did not happen yesterday so I'll probably sneak that in today because we got a lot of other laundry done yesterday but anyway so there's that every day I write shine my sink because I've really been learning the importance of shining the sink before you go to bed it is so nice to wake up in the morning and if you need to get up and you know just you're just making a pot of coffee it's great to be able to fill up your carafe to fill up your coffee pot without having to shift yucky dishes all over the place the kitchen smells better depending on what you've cooked the night before um, I don't have to worry about Bentley getting in there and getting someone's um, cup of juice or something from the day before that might make him sick um, it, like yesterday morning I wanted to make biscuits I didn't get a chance to but had I gotten a chance to, then everything would have been cleaned and organized and ready to go, and I wouldn't have had to fight around a mess to get those done. Um, so that's, you know, it just really helps you go to bed a little bit easier because you don't have to think about that mess, and you wake up, and it's just so great to go in the kitchen, and there's just no dishes, which she has, you know, in her, on the website, she'll tell you, you don't have to wash the dishes. But they can't be in the sink. Um, years ago, there was uh, a thing where a lady was putting them in her oven um, at night because that way when she woke up, they weren't in the sink. And she actually would get up and pretty much just go ahead and put them in the sink and wash them because it looked so nice. So it's sort of an encouragement to have that empty sink. So now I'm going to show you my um, little bit more detailed layout in my planner. This way it's always with me. Um, some people make a big binder. And we do have that with super detailed lists. But just to have something like this morning, I wanted to look over what needs to happen when I get home. So it's great to have this smaller size in my planner. So I'm going to show you the more detailed list. Okay, so in my Mom on the Go planner, I have this little section in the back in the last tab. It's called a House of Order. So I have um, my weekly section. is kind of just a... Um, stuff on top of your necessary items that I like to keep in there. So um, mopping, laundry, vacuuming, um, shower, the days that we do diapers, um, just so that, you know, if I'm frantic or having, a, you know, a rough day, I can open this and say, oh yeah, man, I forgot about diapers, they need to go in or something like that because days will slip by and, you know, all of a sudden you're piled up with work. And that's definitely not the idea of the, the Fly Ladies program. Then down here I have my zones. There's five zones with the Fly Lady. So I had to squeeze in um, one down here, which our living room is, you know, we, we have to stay on top of that with so many people. So there's not much that I do in there during that zone because it gets done every week. Like flipping the couches and vacuuming under them usually happens on Saturdays if my husband's home. Um, things like that and we use it for homeschool so a large part of it is uh, our homeschool stuff which is usually a mess but it's at least in one corner so I have um, you know week one is entrance porch we come in through our kitchen door so there's just not a whole lot uh, off of that zone plan that I, I need to use for my home but I did write all of this in erasable pen um, and that way, if something changes, it's very easy for me to go in and erase it and redo it, you know, if I need to add something or, you know, take something off that just isn't happening or doesn't need to happen. And then over here, I have monthly things. There's a, a little two blocks for every month, and so I just put in what I need to be reminded of. Changing our water filter, the furnace filter, and then anything I want to work on that month. So... As the weather is getting ready to be warm, I'll start um, hopefully preparing for a garden this year. Even if it's a container garden, I need to get all those supplies together and ready. Um, I don't like spiders or any other bugs. So starting um, probably in March, I'll start calling our bug guy about every three months to come out and, and spray the porch and the house and fog everything. And, anyway, some people can handle them I just cannot handle mainly the spiders um, and so that's that's what our family does and by no means do you have to call in a bug, bug guy every three months if you if you don't mind them um, and then the annual tasks 
with such a big family again there's a lot of things that we have to do more often than once a year windows and things but I went ahead and put a few things on there like um, check and clean the chimney we have not used the uh, wood stove or fireplace at the house we're in right now yet we are planning to hopefully use them here in the next um, couple of weeks so this past weekend my husband went and checked everything make sure it's all in working order um, the we have a room in the basement that has our hot water heater and where our our water pump and or I guess is our holding tank from our well and it's a little bit of a storage area too so just to make sure that's always clean and organized and um, not any kind of a hazard or if we needed to get to something and then cleaning outside the windows obviously is not a chore anybody wants to do but we have to do it so we can see outside so we do it once maybe twice a year depending on um, what kind of shenanigans the kids get into when it's warm out and they like to spray the windows with stuff and the hose and anyway so that's just a a light glimpse into what I carry with me every day as far as my cleaning routine and again like I said um, I have a more detailed binder at home that holds my recipes and a much more in-depth um, cleaning list from the fly lady so if you are looking for a new cleaning routine go check the fly lady out um, I think it's she's a uh, flylady.com flylady.net and you can always Pinterest fly lady and um, you'll find um, things that she's pinned on Pinterest she has videos there's a Facebook page where she has a video that comes out pretty frequently with encouragement and tips um, and it's just it's a great way to, to get organized get your family involved and she's a really sweet lady that um, does the the videos and things so it's kind of cute to watch her as she encourages us to keep our keep our homes clean and organized